Coach, let's start us off with thoughts on the match. Yeah, hats off to Temple. I, uh, I thought they played a great match and they came in and pushed us and did some things that were different and put us back on our heels a little bit. Um, overall, I'm happy with the way we responded at each set. I think it was different in each. I think some of it was us not playing great and getting to playing good by the end. And some of it was us getting behind in the third set and uh, really liked what happened at the end. Yeah. Can you touch on that resiliency a little bit in the third set? Obviously, the first two are a little bit more cut and dry, but that last one obviously coming back right at the end. Kind of yeah. what you saw from the group towards the end. I'm going to give Logan a, a lot of props, and uh, and it was nothing. I thought Brooke played a great match. It wasn't Brooke. It was, I thought uh, she came in and just the way she was talking to our team was different than I've seen from her, and I've been talking all year about how she's growing up as a volleyball player. Uh, I think she's growing up as a leader on the team, too, and her ability to use her voice in a confident way, and I just saw nothing but confidence when she came in. I was like, we're going to figure out a way to win this, and we've talked to, literally had to talk about optimism this week, and that's what it is. We're going to figure out a way. Uh, and I saw that just radiating from her as she came in, and I thought that helped turn it. I'm going to open it up if you guys have any questions. I really miss it being a good Italian. So, when it comes to the third step, what are things that you're going to take from that one and make sure you're going to apply to future games to make sure that you don't have those spots like that? Yeah, I think we talked at the beginning of the match just about we need to make sure we come out and assert ourselves on our opponent regardless of who they are. I thought we did a good job of that. If you watch the first five points is what we talked about at the beginning of it. The first five points of the match was exactly that. It was like, hey, here's who we are. And then I thought that slowly slipped away. And uh, that's normal sometimes. I think when you win, I think those first two sets were a little bit lopsided. Uh, but we got to be dialed in because every team in the country is going to come back and try to spread, spread, claw and scrap in that third set. Um, so I think we just needed to go back to that. So hopefully we learned we need to do that over and over again. Um, and then just... I don't believe in David Goggins and the cookie jar. Like it's nice to be able to know that you were down 22-17 and you came back when uh, when you're in that situation again. I'll keep it open. Okay. I'll keep going if you guys don't have any. So um, beginning of the season, we've seen a lot of high efficiency hitting. Still efficient tonight, but a little lower than usual. But the blocks up to 10 today as a team, especially yeah. at Fender getting eight total today, kind of. This team can win in so many different ways, so how good is it to see maybe on a night when the offense is a little bit low, but the defense is incredible? It's, yeah, we're going to, again, we're going to play some great competition out there, and we need to find different ways to win. There's going to be some teams that are able to shut us down, we need to shut them down back. And there's going to be some teams that hit for <coughs> a really high efficiency, and we need to go hit for a high efficiency back. So uh, I'm glad we picked <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, getting over whatever's going around right now. Uh, I'm glad we figured out a way, and uh, that needs to be how we go forward in every single match. Perfect. And then looking forward to obviously tomorrow first, you and H. What are you going to take, and kind of what's the mindset going into tomorrow? Yeah, I think we got to fight and claw. And uh, again, the way we scheduled is a bunch of teams that won 18, 20 matches in the year, and they're all good, and they all play a little bit different of a style. So, uh, and I think the interesting thing, three matches in three days, is you got to turn the page from this and literally they're stretching right now. I'm going to leave here. You're going to pull some other people in for an interview and then we're going to watch video on New Hampshire. So you don't get to celebrate the win. So I'd say let's close the page on this, learn the things that we talked about from this, uh, make sure we apply them tomorrow and prepare for a different opponent. Perfect. Nobody else has got anything? Um, I was going to ask, uh, what does it say about this team? You know, they're able to win a game where it's kind of all over the place. Like you were saying, like, what does it say about their character and how they play? Ah, I think, uh, Again, going back to that optimism piece is something that we've been working on that we're going to figure out a way. And to what Sam asked on with uh, finding different ways, it might be that we need 10 blocks. It might be that we need to shut people down. It might be that we need to serve a team off the court, but we're going to figure out the key to beat this team. <laughs> okay, girls, obviously another three set victory, but a little tight in the third set. Kind of talk to me about the match as a whole. We'll start with you, Hannah. Um... Obviously, like coming into this, we knew Jamie would tell us that these are like really good teams, just like, just because of the name on the jersey. Like, if you don't, just because, oh, can I start over? You can. Okay, perfect. Um, okay, so just coming into this, we kind of knew, like, Jamie was telling us, like, ignore the name on the jersey. Like, these are good teams, regardless of, you know, how they play or, you know. So just like coming into this, we knew it was going to be kind of like, a hard, it, wouldn't, it wasn't going to be easy, so it was just like making sure we were just coming in, firing on all ends, making sure we do what we needed to do to win. Dave? Yeah, um, I think every team that we play is good. Um, every team is at the top of their conference that we play in preseason to prepare us for SEC, so um, I think we all just have the mentality of taking it one game at a time, and it's good for us to be pushed like that, like in the last set, it's good for us to have that challenge. So. Um, I'm really proud of us for pushing through and finishing it out. Um, I do wish that we could separate our lead a little bit more in the third, but I'm proud of how we finished.
And we've kind of seen the first couple games a lot of offense, but today, eight total blocks, 15 digs. Kind of looked like a little Ooh. bit sweet, look a little <laughs> more defensive today, but it got the job done. So yeah. kind of talk to me how you guys can do a bit of everything when, on a certain night. Yeah, I think it's cool that we can do it all. I mean, I think that's a really big testament to our team and how much depth that we have. Um, the fact that we can win in both ways is huge, and so if we just keep sharpening both those tools, we're going to be really, really good in the rest of the season. So, mm -hmm. And I like to say that defense wins games. Yes, <laughs> I agree. And that was the case today. So. <laughs> and then, Afena, specifically on the blocks, you had three solos, five assists. Kind of talk to me what you were seeing out there today. It's a season high total. I just was kind of not really looking at everything, kind of just focusing on the ball less than the people. Like how I kind of like see blocking is like you kind of just have to like follow the ball. Like eventually the ball is going to get to you at some point. It's just kind of like intercepting the ball like where it's supposed to like, you know what I mean? Like you're kind of just intercepting the ball before it can come up like our side. So just watching the setter, like knowing their tendencies, like maybe like a little arch in the back will tell you that she's going to set it back or like just little things like that that you just kind of pay attention to and just kind of like be beat the ball to where it's going to go. Yeah. I'll open it up before I have another one. You guys good? All right, then I'll keep going, sweet. Um, so obviously game one of three this weekend. So what are you going to take today into UNH tomorrow? Um, I'm really happy that we finished in three first. Um, but I think also just like the grit, I think the grit is a huge thing for us, being able to grind out and win gritty games like that. Um, so I think just taking it one game at a time um, really trying to finish this next one quickly like we did the first one today, so. I agree, just knowing that um, the game's not over until it's over and the whistle blows, because they had quite like a big lead on us, but I think we did a good job in staying focused, like focusing on one point at a time until we eventually tied it and then won the match, so. I also, just yeah. to add on, I also really liked, I felt like that we were never frantic, like it was, we felt like we had control in the game no matter what the score was. So I think we've just really relied on each other and trusted each other, and that's something that I hope that we carry out throughout the weekend. And then final from me, down 22-17 late in the third. Mm -hmm. What is impressive to us is how you guys rally, like there's no panic. It's yeah. just, what are you guys thinking and saying to each other in those moments? Just knowing that like moments like those are kind of like what we work for and what we want. Like Ava said earlier, we like to be pushed. That's what makes teams stronger, just, you know, just knowing that in those moments, like we just kind of come together. Jamie likes to say we squeeze. Just like doing it together and knowing that you can lean on a teammate next to you. Yeah, I really like that. I also have two points with that. I think one, realizing that if we're pushed now, we're going to respond to it well better later. Um, and also too, we do a lot of situational stuff in practice, so we're always doing stuff like that, like where you know one side will be down twenty two seventeen or twenty two eighteen, and you have to fight back and win. So. I think being put in that situation, you get better with time. So I'm really happy that we're put in that situation that we get to, you know, continue to fight and finish games. So. Yeah.